Hi, this is Melinda Ballant. I'm going through Revit 2022, um, how to actually create a topo surface, that's a topographical surface, on in your Revit model. So in the previous tutorial, I just created a property line under uh, massing and site. So that was a property line. The next thing we're going to do is a topo surface. Um, it's not necessary to do a topo surface uh, for all of your you know, models that you're creating. But if you wanted to relate it to a particular existing site, it's useful to put the topo surface on there to understand how the building and everything relates to the existing site as it stands. All right, so I've got a site. I'm only going to create a topo surface that is going to be the size of the site because I really don't want to make a massive topographical surface. It just it adds geometry, it slows things down and it becomes uh, irrelevant to what I need uh, to reference. So on this, I'm going to just use topo surface um, for this particular site. Now, once I hit topo surface, there's a couple of things you need to note. Um, I'm immediately taken to place point. So as I move my cursor on, you can see that little cursor is dragging around a point. As soon as I click, it will place a point. It will also uh, set that point at a particular elevation. I always start at a zero elevation for the lowest point on the site. This is like a surveyor would do it. They set their lowest point on the site as their reference datum, uh, the reference level, and then they will go up from, um, in elevation for all the subsequent points on the site. So I'm going to go for a contour that is going to have a low point at this end of the site, and it's going to slope up and be slightly higher at this other end of the site. So it's going to be fairly even gradient. Now, if I wanted to do a few, like a little hill or something, I would do a singular point to show the, the elevation of that point. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the elevation of zero and I'm going to place two points and I make these both zero. So they're both at the same level. That won't always be the case uh, in the real world, but they're both going to be at zero. You can see the points are placed there, but there's nothing else. There's no uh, actual geometry that you can see at this point. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this uh, a two meters. Actually, I make it three meters. So I'll make it a uh, three meters difference between this end of the site and that end of the site. So I'm going to take this up to 3000, enter. And now I'm going to place that point and that point. And just to sort of give it, you know, um, I could leave that as straight or I could, you know, pull the three meters into there, or if it's just going to be a straight, fairly, fairly flat gradient, I could just leave it as this. If there was a particular point, maybe there was a depression in the site or something like that, um, I could change this. So maybe uh, we change this to 4,000 and there is a point on the site that is 4,000. And you'll notice that the contours change to show that high point on the site. Now, let's say that that's correct. And we'll go have a look at that in 3D. So you can see it's just a set of lines at the moment. Um, if I go to 3D, now you can access 3D. If it's not already in your project browser over here, I'll just bring that on a bit. Uh, under 3D views, there's your live 3D view. You can create one under there by going view 3D or default 3D view. And that will actually uh, set up that live 3D view. If I hold shift down and my middle wheel on my uh, mouse, I can rotate and look around on this. And you can see from the side angle, okay, that I've got, this is, if I look at my elevations, let's go to an elevation. You should be able to see there at level zero, which was, that's my, that was my zero end of the site. Uh, that's the high point of the site at 4,000 and the back end of the site at 3,000. So you can see that we've created a bit of a topo surface. Now I'm just going to go back to my 3D view. Oops, 
those. Uh, double clicking to make that my active view uh, and just looking around in there, I can see. Now, of course, once you go into a site, you're not going to build straight on a gradient surface normally. Sometimes you will, you know, bring in a bulldozer or bring in some heavy machinery and you'll flatten out a section of the site. Now, to show that on your topo surface, it's more or less just, you know, moving the dirt around. If you wanted to show that area that had been leveled on your site, under massing and site, you can create a building pad. And this is just a uh, pad of area, a, a area of your site that has been bulldozed or leveled. So you can begin your uh, floor plan, I guess. And so it's just a leveled area of the site. It's dirt, it's not construction material. All right, so let's do a building pad. Let's do it on level zero. So with my building pad, I'm create pad boundary. Um, I could probably just create a standard rectangle because I don't have any information as to what um, specifically I'm gonna build on there yet. And I'm just gonna draw out a rectangle. You'll note that the offset is zero. So it is actually sitting straight on level zero, which was the lowest part of the site. So it's dug down into my topo service. If I wanted it like part way up, I could put it on level zero, but then I could offset it by maybe one meter and just press enter. And that's where it would be placed. So let's just accept that and have a look at what we placed. So you can't see it there. So let's go to our 3D view. Double uh, close, I'm trying to double click here, double click. You can see how it's really depressed into the site. Of course, you know, that might not be what you intended. So if I hover on the edge of this, uh, you'll notice that it's selected the building pad. When I go to select something, if I hover over it and it's not exactly what I want to select and there's like two things there that I might want to select, I can use the tab key uh, to actually toggle between the uh, the actual the two items that might be in the same location, um, it's just the building pad, on, and I select the edge of the building pad, so it showed up here on this bottom part of my display that it was the building pad. You might notice there, pad, pads, pad, pad one. Um, now, if I wanted to modify that, I can go to edit boundary, and I can change. Or I can even just, I could change what the offset is now. So if I wanted that one meter up, I'll just change the offset from level zero and hit apply. And you'll notice it comes up still a little bit low, I think. So I'm gonna to go to two meters. So it's kind of halfway down my site. I'm digging into the back half, but I'm elevating partially on the front half. So there is my building pad. Uh, that is the bulldoze section of my site and I can start building on that and put some foundations down. Uh, that's it for topo surface. Thank you.